Hey everybody, this is Eve Rayland. It is, oh, what do we have? It is, let's see, December 4th, 2018. And um, I have a piece of news that just came in, a press release that came into my inbox. Um, and the title is a Northeast charity is saying game over to jigsaw puzzle pieces. Now, I published this on International Badass Activist, so you can read it there. But I'm going to read it here because I want you to listen to this. Um, it says, as a part of its drive to make the region more accepting. Let me embiggen it. I'm old. I need bigger letters. Whoever saw it, right? Alrighty, so it says, as a part of its drive to make the region more accepting and aware of neurodiversity, the Northeast Autism Society, this is in the UK, will no longer use the popular symbol of autism and isolated jigsaw puzzle piece in any of its home schools or publications. You hear that? Internal cheering and back lips. Yeah, that's awesome, right? Okay, so far from being just a fun image to represent one in every hundred people in the region thought to be autistic, the jigsaw icon was made popular by some British autism organizations and then controversial American charity Autism Speaks and can have more sinister undertones. Wow. John Philipson, Chief Executive Officer at Northeast Autism Society, explained, he said families in the UK, like any of us, take to the internet when it comes to seeking out information, help, and guidance for their children. It takes nothing more than a cursory glance on Google after typing in autism, to see hundreds and hundreds of jigsaw pieces representing clubs, charities, and support groups. Oh, it's offensive. It is so offensive. I'm just kind of overwhelmed, guys. This is a good read, but I lost my lighter. Maybe I had to calm down a second. Exciting, I'm just trying not to overload. So they are not just getting rid of puzzle pieces, they're explaining why. But if you take a minute to think about what's actually saying, it's not entirely positive that people who are neurodiverse somehow have a bit missing or need to or need to the pieces of themselves put back together buys into the narrative that autism is in or and of itself negative. We don't believe that. There are challenges, yes. There are coexisting conditions, yes. But is autism something that makes us broken in need of being reassembled? Absolutely not. There is also a concern within the autistic community that using imagery that could be synonymous with infancy or childhood feeds into a now largely obsolete belief that autism is something you grow out of in adulthood. Oh, the next line, I've got tears in my hands. I says, Dad, Kieran Rose, himself autistic, believes this is a huge stride forward for autistic people in the UK. Now, if you don't know, Kieran Rose is in the UK, and he is one of the founders, the founders of the Autistic Cooperative. 
So, here's a press release with the work that has been going on and the changes that are occurring because of it in the Autistic Cooperative and the activists out there in Kieran Room. This is badass. Oh, gosh. So, I'm going to read that line again. Dad, Kieran Rose, himself autistic, believes this is a huge stride forward for autistic people in the UK. For too long, we just go along with what we are told when it comes to autism. And unfortunately, some of the biggest and loudest voices are also some of the most damaging. Autism Speak still uses language about curing autism like it's a disease. If you remove autism from me or my autistic children, you take away who we are. Proactively stepping away from the seemingly harmless jigsaw puzzle imagery is actually a huge stride forward towards acceptance and celebration of autism and all that it brings to the world. The move by the Northeast Autism Society is the latest step in its going for gold campaign to coincide with Autism Awareness Week in April 2019. Gold, baby. We lighted up gold. Yes. Oh, family Development Manager Carrie Hycock added, I don't think there's a more aspirational color. The fact athletes compete to walk away with a gold medal means society understands the significance of using gold as a color equated with autism and neurodiversity. This year we won't be asking for landmarks to be lit up blue. This year we are going for gold. We are celebrating autism, autistic people, and the incredible people who work to champion autism acceptance. So, Lindsay Bruce is the press officer, Lisa Taylor is a senior marketing officer listed here. The content story organizations, people involved in this release have been included entirely because of their relationship with the ongoing work of the Northeast Autism Society in EAS. NEAS is a local charity covering the Northeast of England. It is a distinct charity in its own right. It is not connected to any similarly named national organization. NEAS provides extensive services at a local level, including family support, work, schools, adult services, vocational training, residential homes, short break provision, as well as raising awareness of autism and campaigning about and for families affected by or living with autism says about autism. Autism is a neurodevelopmental condition that affects people's ability to communicate with and relate to others. Problems arising from these difficulties can lead to feelings of exclusion and isolation. So, high five there and oh my gosh. Yeah. Awesome.